Hey guys, uh, Jim here. Um, this weekend was kind of a bust for me as far as uh, filming opportunities. I wanted to film at this place called 8-Bit Cafe in Shinjuku. It's a gaming bar. Um, if you look for it, you might be able to find a video or two uh, on YouTube. Um, but ended up we couldn't go there because they were having a private party that night. Um, so I wanted to do just some walk around filming in Shinjuku. I brought a dead camera battery, so I was an idiot. So as far as filming goes for this past weekend, it wasn't great. It was a great weekend, but I didn't get to film jack shit. And uh, so I thought I would just do a little generic pickups vid because I did get a, quite a few pickups just across this past week. I went to Hard Off and I went to Super Potato. And uh, oh, which reminds me, I'm right back. <laughs> Couldn't forget my raffle prize. So anyway, uh, <laughs> um, when I was at Super Potato last time, they had little raffle drawings. The more you bought, the more raffles you could pull, and um, it depended on how how much money you spent was how many raffles you got. Anyway, I, I was able to draw five raffles, and I won something. And while well, what did I win? Snack foods. I want some snacks. Um, five little bags of snacks from Super Potato. Woo! So, anyway, um, at Hard Off, uh, I picked up one of these. It's a GameCube. It is the Japanese version, obviously. Came with one controller, memory card, uh, AC adapter, and uh, AV cables. It was about 40 bucks, actually. So, not bad for a complete GameCube. They had a boxed one, but that was roughly the same price, but it didn't come with a memory card. And I didn't see any memory cards there that were in like good shape. So, I just went ahead and got this one. Pretty good. And it can, comes with a 30 day warranty, so if it's fugly, I can always bring it back. And I got a few games with it. Three. Um, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I guess it would be uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, Melee in the States. Here it's whatever the Japanese title was and then DX. So Super Smash Brothers Melee. And uh, Mario was Superstar Baseball. Um, this is probably my favorite Mario sports title. Um, this game is ridiculously fun. I don't know. I just like building a team of uh, classic Mario characters, you know, you got your little Toads and Koopa Troopas and all that stuff. Um, yeah, this game's fucking awesome. The Wiz Robes are the best fucking fielders. Alright, and third game I got was Mario Kart Double Dash, because this game's fucking awesome. This game's amazing. I remember first buying it the year I got my GameCube. Me and my friend pulled our money so we could buy a copy, and fucking played it religiously for a good while. So there you go. So the three games I got for my GameCube. Picked up five games for the Neo Geo CD this past week. First is uh, Savage Rain, which is pretty cool. It's uh, an SNK fighter. Um, it has similarities, a lot of similarities to, um, well, the one big similarity it has to Fatal Fury is you can fight in the foreground and the background. You can jump to the back and the front, and you can hang on these little rafters when you jump to the background and kick shit at people and stuff. All in all, it's fun. It's kind of a, it's just a few extra things added to your traditional 2D fighter, so it's a good game. Uh, World Heroes Perfect, which is just another World Heroes game, just updated, you know, slightly updated graphics, and like one or two new characters. It's uh, definitely you know, a good 2D fighter. And it's cool because uh, the stages are pretty much random. Um, when you're playing arcade mode, each new stage is like a different area in time. It's cool because that was the whole point of this game was somebody drew all these warriors from all these different time periods to see who would win and everything. But anyway, World Heroes Perfect. That's a good one. We got a Sonic Wings 3, which is just a good top down shooter for um, Neo Geo CD. Sonic Wings 3. We got. This game, Mutation Nation, I really like this game. It's a beat em up, but uh, you're basically some doctor, evil scientist, or whatever has turned his 
army of mutant freaks uh, loose on your city and you gotta beat the shit out of them. So it's kind of like if Final Fight mixed with uh, Contra 3, um, it's pretty cool. Um, lots of cool super moves and shit you can do. So yeah, I like this Mutation Nation for the Neo Geo CD here. This uh, special edition of Art of Fighting 3 which is pretty cool because um, I'm not going to pull it out because it's a whole bunch of stuff and I don't really feel like it, but um, the game and then in here it comes with a little booklet and it even comes with um, Robert's coin, which is pretty cool because Robert really is the central character in this game. They all go over to Italy to help him out with something, but uh, Art of Fighting 3, good, alright. And I got three Super Famicom games, <coughs> excuse me, this week, uh, one, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Fucking awesome. I was able to get this complete. And yes, I purchased this from Super Potato. So, it wasn't cheap, but I fucking had to have it. Contra 3. We have, I got this at a hard off. This is a Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Basically, they just, it's kind of like what they did on the DS. They just updated the graphics and ported it to a new system. So, these are Super NES versions of Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Really cool. And I also got a copy of Dragon Quest VI this uh, past week. So I'm going Dragon Quest crazy because uh, this year is the 25th anniversary of Dragon Quest, actually. And in Rapungi, starting on October 8th, running through the rest of the year, they're having a special event where they're showcasing Dragon Quest in all its glory. So it's going to be art and I guess things you can purchase, uh, just lots of shit on display. And uh, presumably meeting um, artists and, you know, basically people involved with the game, musicians and everything. Hopefully a Kira Toriyama. The thing is, you have to be a ticket holder in order to get in. And luckily for me, I have a friend who is into this kind of thing as well. She's getting us a couple of tickets. So I am going to be attending the Dragon Quest 25th anniversary celebration this year, and I will be filming, and hopefully I'll come back with some really good shit to show you guys. So that's it for this little generic pickups vid for this week, and uh, I promise I will be back with better videos. I don't really like doing pickups vids like this, it's kind of dry, but anyway, so I'll be back with whatever I can give you guys, especially that 25th anniversary. Dragon Quest celebration thingy in Rapungi. So this is Jim. Thanks for watching and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Okay, thank you.